guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, thanks so much for joining. My name is Kendall. Today I'm going to be showing you how I style leather pants and specifically the Aritzia Molina pants. So these pants are really popular. I know they kind of went viral like in the summertime where everyone was ordering them. And by no means do you have to use these Aritzia pants. You can use any type of leather pants you want, but these are pretty pricey. They are $148, so they are very pricey, but they are very good quality. These also are vegan leather, so for $148, that is very pricey compared to like other brands. But I'm going to try and link some similar options down below that are like more affordable because these are very pricey and yeah, at first I was like hesitant because because I'm like, that's a lot of money, but they are very good quality, I have to say. Okay, so before I get into how I style them, I am gonna do like a quick little review on the pants. So if you don't wanna see that, I will put like a timestamp down below when the how to style starts. So you can just skip through and get to the outfits. But for those of you who wanna see the Molina pants reviewed, I am gonna do that. Okay, so here they are. And just at first glance, they're very nice quality for vegan leather. I mean, I don't really know what regular leather is compared to like the Doc Martens. That's like the only type of leather that I actually have. So I can't really say compared to real leather, but I do think that they are very nice quality. So I did get this in the regular length. And now looking back, I really wish that I got the cropped version just because like I tend to wear sneakers with the leather pants. And I just feel like when I'm wearing the sneakers, like as you'll see in the outfits, I mean, I did roll some of them up just to like, make it look a little bit better. But sometimes it does kind of bunch at the bottom and it kind of makes me look more bulky in certain outfits. So I feel like it doesn't look as nice as like I wanted to look. So for sizing for these, I did go ahead and get my true to size. I got a US 4 and I usually wear a size 27 waist. So I was a little nervous like what size to get because I wasn't sure like if they would fit. And I know a lot of people say that they are very tight and over time they stretch out. So when I do put them on around the waist, like it's tighter than usual. So I'm just hoping over time it will stretch out, but it's still a very comfy fit and I do like them a lot. So the only thing that's a little strange, like when you're putting them on, the button and zipper is like on the opposite side than like a normal jean. So it's a little bit different, like you just have to get used to that. So overall, I feel like the quality is really nice on these. And if you want like a great quality pair, then I would definitely invest in it. But I do have to say that I feel like there are a lot of good options out there as well that are pretty affordable. Just because like $148 is pretty pricey for leather pants. So I do think that there are better options out there like if you want to save some money. But if you don't mind paying that and you want really good quality pants, then I feel like these are really nice. The pants sometimes I find are a little harder to style just because it does look a little bit more bulkier than I want it to look, like I said before. But if you are a big fan of the pants, then these are a really good option. Okay, so now moving on to the outfits and how to style. I did try and do a different variety of outfits, so I'm trying to keep it more casual. And then I did do some dressy ones as well. I did wear sneakers in some of them and heels in others. So it really just depends on your mood and your style, like how you want to style it. I tend to be more on like the casual comfy side, so that's why I did want to throw in those outfits as well with like sneakers. But I do really like the dressy outfits probably the best, so there is a variety in there. So before I get into the outfits, if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I am going to start off with more dressier outfits. So here I just have a turtleneck bodysuit and I did pair it with the heels. And this kind of makes it look a little bit more dressier, but honestly it is still really comfortable because the bodysuit just tucks in very nicely. And then I paired it with the Gucci belt, but obviously you don't have to have the Gucci belt, but the belt kind of makes it pop a little bit more. Okay, so next I kept it with the dressy look. I just added a nice little blazer with a bodysuit and I still have it on with the heels. I feel like this looks like I'm going into the office, but I just love this. It's nice and chic and just the blazer kind of makes it look a little bit more put together and a little bit more slimming. Okay, so next I paired this with Air Force Ones and added like a nice pea coat. You can honestly wear any type of pea coat, but I just feel like this is a checkered black and white one, so it kind of goes well and ties in the shoes. And I know this is more of like a chunkier shoe, so if you don't like Air Force Ones, you could always wear it with like a skinnier shoe. 
Okay, so this next style, I'm gonna like have different variations to it. So this is just a plain bodysuit and wearing it with the heels. And then you can wear it with any type of belt. I just feel like it's very simple, but it looks very well put together. The bodysuits really tuck in very nicely and just keep it all together. And then here I just threw on a nice flannel on top and this flannel is more I would say on like the dressier side so I feel like the brown kind of ties in because there are grays and black in the top but I really like this look it's a little bit different than what I'm used to seeing so you really can add any type of jacket on top and just will tie in the whole outfit. Okay, so here I just replaced the heels with a more comfier shoe, and this is the Air Force One. But like I said before, the bottoms kind of look a little bit bulky because it isn't the cropped version. So if you're like worried about having that bulkiness, I would say just to switch it out with like a white converse or even a black converse. I feel like that would help it look a little bit more skinnier towards the bottom. So you can always switch it out for any type of sneaker. Okay, so next, I feel like you can never go wrong with an all black look with leather pants. I do have it on with my Doc Martens and I do have like this sheer kind of see-through top. You can always wear any type of bodysuit or even like a crop top with this and you can always switch out the colors but I really like the all black look and you can even pair it with sneakers if you want. Okay, and then here I just have my Doc Martens on still with a crop top and honestly you can just wear the crop top by itself but since it's in the winter months I wanted to pair it with like a jacket just to keep me a little bit warmer. This is a more realistic fit for me in the winter time. I mean obviously I probably would pair it with a bodysuit because I'm a little cold sometimes but if you want the crop top look I feel like this is perfect for it. And then here I wanted to pair it with my essentials crew neck. You honestly can wear any essentials or any hoodie or crew neck but I love the essentials because it's just so warm on the inside and it's really going to keep you nice and warm in these winter months. And then I do have the Air Force Ones on but again if you don't like the bulky shoe you can always change it to a Converse or really any type of sneaker that you have but this is a really nice comfy fit. And then sticking with the comfort, I feel like you can never go wrong with an oversized graphic tee. So here I have a gray kind of graphic tee on and I do have it on with the Air Force Ones. I know it looks like a little bit too much color may be going on, but you can always switch it out for a black shoe or really any shoe. But I feel like this is a great style and you can always put on like an oversized jacket on top if you want to go out in it or a pea coat. And then here I just switched it out for a black oversized tee. I just wanted to show the difference in the colors, but you can always wear either like a white one, that way it'll match with the white shoes. But here probably the black Converse might look a little bit better, but I just wanted to show the color. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna do in like the near future kind of like comparing different leather pants to these just because these Aritzia pants are very pricey and I want to find like comparable pants to them but are more affordable. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.